Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Scum. <coughs> My name is Matthias. Your Scum information post, if you want to put it like that. Someone that's absolutely crazy about Scum. And yes, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys all the points of interest in Scum from the 0 0.6 update. Um, while I show you the points of interest, some of you have asked me um, where can I loot except for bunkers. Now these points of interest are definitely a place that you want. All these points of interest are great places to loot except for bunkers. And then what I want you to focus on is random little points like that. There and there. Everywhere you see yellow dots in the middle of nowhere um, will be tents. Okay. Like, for instance, um, where was that? There are various small locations on the map where there's not a lot of um, threats, but you will get quite good loot. And the tent locations, like here, for instance, or here, um, has helped me a lot to get, like, guns and ammunition without with minimum threat. But the points of interest is definitely something that I want to showcase for you guys today because what I've seen a lot of people do is they focus on a certain part of the map. For instance, they will build a base close to the city and repeatedly loot the city, or they will um, make a base close to a bunker or the airfield, or just close to a very big point of interest, and then repeatedly loot that point of interest. But by the time they filled up all their crates and they've got all the the items that they want, they start getting bored. So what I want you guys to see today is exactly how much points of interest the fantastic scum developers have added to this game and how beautiful they are and how exploration really helps you to enjoy this game together with the PVE threat, okay? So the first point of interest that we're going to cover today, we're going to go from D4 right through all the sectors like that. There isn't a heck of a lot of points of interest, but I'm just going to show you the main um, points of interest so that you guys can see w what wonderful assets there are in the game and how many different locations there are that you can really, really enjoy. And I'm sure I'm going to show you some locations that you guys have never, ever seen before. So the first point of interest is the military airfield. Okay. Um, the military airfield has got quite a lot of loot around it. Like this is a little bunker here that you can loot. You can loot that quite easily. You can loot that quite easily. You have to be quite careful here because there's make paths that can see you when you enter this hangar. Um, there's a, a bunk. There's an entrance there and a bunker on top. There's a bunker on top. If you go in there into the underground um, bunker, there's megs inside there, which is which is quite a puzzle to figure out, so it's quite dangerous. You've got your satellite station up there with easy, with an easy um, hangar, or not a hangar, like an easy factory to or building to loot. Um, you've got uh, bunkers above all these entrances, which is very easy to loot. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them that you can loot. And as you can see, if you come from this angle, you can loot all these um, military hangars, which has got really, really good loot, okay? Um, I can just show you inside here, a lot of containers inside here, okay? And um, if you guys want to know how to use drone mode, when you start a single player game, create your character, then exit the game, then when you see your character that you created in single player, um, press Control D, to enter drone mode, you'll see like, uh, you'll see um, this over the screen and then you can just um, continue. You can start the game with that character and you'll automatically enter drone mode. Now when you enter drone mode, you'll be, everything will look like this. And what you can do is you can press um, H to remove the overlay. And then you can just point in a direction and move forward. Scroll your mouse wheel back to move very slowly. Scroll your mouse wheel forward to move very fast. And then even if you if you want like nice pan shots, just holding shift and forward 
you know you can do like nice pan shots and then as you can see i can i can't really go through anything now so the keys that you need to remember when you're in drone mode is h for the for the overlay and then x for the sound and the light okay as soon as you press h you'll be able to go through everything and this is quite a nice way to um admin your server if there's any players that people are suspicious of then you can press x and um, spy on them and just make sure everything's on the up and up okay it will take you a bit of time but if you if you keep your eye on certain players you'll quickly determine whether they're playing the game fairly or if they doing any funny funny business okay so these are the um, hangers here lots of lo nice loot in here and yes uh, military airfield in my opinion is definitely the most dangerous place to be but it's got the most amount of loot and there's towns everywhere but like i say we're just going to focus on the points of interest and then i just want to show you quickly here by the satellite if you come up to the satellite i won't really focus on anything else except coming from behind into these two buildings to get some loot and to get some loot in here okay i won't really focus on anything else and then like i say if you come in here um it's extremely dangerous okay if you come in here then there's megs underground and you'll go you're going to have to use your skills not to get killed inside here i do suggest coming in here with like a flashlight or weapon flashlight a lot of people set down their contrast and set up their gamma and then for you when you look at their gameplay it looks like it's very light inside here but it's not meant to be light inside here the darkness is supposed to be part of the threat level but yes um a lot of dangers here but it's quite a big place um okay this is quite a this is quite a large place that you can loot and it's got a lot of um yeah it's big and there's a lot of places that you can loot inside here but figuring out the meg's routes and trying to get past them is a big part of the of the danger level okay but if you do get it right to get in here and master the meg's pathing then you're going to you're going to get about the best loot that i have found anywhere i can even compare it to the c i can even say it's better than the c2 bunker and any other bunkers um that i've gone into i love the c2 bunker and then i think it's b2 i think it's the b2 bunker that i love as well but there's a heck of a lot of interest and uh, points of interest here and it's big it's big i mean if you guys just want to see how big it is okay then you can enter there and you can exit there okay it's a really really big place inside there and there's a major centerpiece as well i just want to quickly see if i can find the centerpiece but in any case guys that's it it's a big place definitely the most important um point of interest on the map okay and like i say if i want some fast loot i just run up this hill okay um i loot that bunk over there i loot this bunk over here i think there's another bunk there I loot this bunker over here. I loot this bunker over here. Um, I loot this bunker over here. You're just going to deal with puppets. Just stay out of the vision of the megs. Okay. And then when I'm done, I go around. Um, loot over here. And then I might come over here and loot this. And then I might come and loot this. And if I'm really looking to be spicy, I go in there. Okay so let's go look at the second point point of interest in the d4 sector okay guys this is the second point of interest in d4 we're going to cover it now so that we don't cover it in d3 okay um there's only two real points of interest in um d4 which is the military airfield and summerbor city which is the main city of the map and as you can see it's extremely big okay it's extremely big um there's a heck of a lot to loot a heck of a lot of loot to find in here but there are specific locations that are a little bit more important than others um like for instance vehicle um vehicle repair shops are very likely to give you vehicle repair kits and um, you get the gymnasium or the baseball court 
and um, which you will clearly see i don't think we can see it from here i just don't want the footage to lag um a lot because the city is extremely big um there's the shopping center where, where you can get quite a bit of food from so let's just see there's the tennis court here here's the gymnasium okay or the basketball court so if you see the tennis court you'll know that the gymnasium is right here there is military um loot in there okay and all the buildings will give you loot and then you get certain shops in the town which are like hunting shops or clothing shops alcohol shops you know food shops and um, which I usually like to focus on the hunting shops to get like a uh, compound bow and arrows and stuff like that. Okay, so there's a, a heck of a lot of different points of um, a lot of loot in this location. Um, I would say it's puppet wise is probably the most dangerous place on the map with number of puppets, depending on what your server settings are. Um, but like with my um, hardcore, my hardcore gameplay, you guys would have seen that this is an extremely, extremely dangerous place. You have to be very, very careful. If you're on a populated server, watch out. People use all the buildings to snipe you. Okay, so there's a lot of high ground to snipe you from. Um, you can see those two buildings are lower than those two buildings. So a lot of guys like to try and get the highest ground that they can. As you can see, there's a lot of roofs um, to snipe from. So any area that you're in, just be careful of the roofs um, because there will be snipers. And a lot of people like uh, putting their base inside here as well um, for obvious reasons, for the loot. Okay. And that is the only other big point of interest. There's a nice ocean, little um, town on the ocean there. There's a nice little spot for you to create your base. Um, you can go there and you'll see that you'll be able to put down your flag there. Um, there's a little town there. Um, that's a bunker and that's something else. But like I said, we're just going to focus on the points of interest so that this video isn't too long. So let's move on to D3. Okay guys, so <clears throat> D2, D3 doesn't have any major points of interest. It's got a bunker, it's got a town, it's got a petrol station and stuff like that. So the only major point of interest is basically a section of the big city. So no other real major point of interest there. And now we're moving on to D2, okay? Now D2's first point of interest is the lumber mill. So if you are, if you are not excited about chopping down trees all day long and you want fast um, building materials for your base, you can come here and stock up on a lot of building materials. Um, it hasn't got any major loot. So the main, main focus point of it is planks and wood and all kinds of building materials. Okay. So if you, if you don't want to chop trees at all, try and build the base close to the lumber mill and it will um, save you a heck of a lot of time for constructing a base. I'm not really going to go going to go into the lumber mill. I'd like you guys to explore these points for yourself. I just wanted to give you a tip for the military airfield in case some of you just want to run in there and die and get frustrated because if you die in the underground bunkers by the megs, if you die in the megs path, it's very, very difficult to get back to your body. And I don't want you guys to get frustrated. So I'm just warning you ahead of time. If you die directly in any megs pathing down there, it's going to be difficult to get back to your body. And even in a, at a bunker, if you die in a place where both megs, let's say there's two megs at the bunker, if both megs are looking at that point where you died, it's going to be half impossible to get back to your body. So when you're at a bunker and you want to take a risk, make sure only one Meg has, has vision of you and make sure it's at the end of his route, not in the middle of his route or in the middle of both Meg's routes. I have been frustrated like that and died repeatedly because my body's lying there in between them and I really want to get all my gear and then it becomes frustrating. So let's, this is the lumber mill. Let's move to the next, next point of interest. 
And yes, if anyone just wants to add timestamps for me down below, I really appreciate it. I'm stretching myself quite a bit here time-wise. So I really appreciate it if someone can just add timestamps for me down below. Thank you. Yeah, so here we have the D2 castle. You can just look on the map where my drone is to identify where the location is. So take a screenshot every time I show you the map if you want to find these locations. So this is the D2 castle. I like it a lot. It's got very, it's got high ground. So I always like having a vision of everything, which is really, really beautiful. Um, and we'll cover the dam now. No, it's not in this sector. Hello, birdie. But yes, the, the castles are really nice um, because you can put down a flag here and um, it's going to take a bit of work protecting all the places, but at least it's going to take less work than an entire base that you need to build. So you could put down a flag here, but the main, uh, the main points of interest in a castle is mainly the towers. Okay, the towers usually have your crates inside them. There's spawn points here. There's spawn points on the floor. As you can see, okay, every every tower has got um, these crates. You do get crates in between here. Um, but I mean, you know, if you want to loot fast, there's the Mr. Feudal's helmet that the developers added for him. Very nice, cool looking helmet that you can add. Um, again, crates, again, crates. Okay, so... Um, the towers are definitely your fo focus point when you're looting a castle or the fact that you want to build a base here, okay? Those are basically the things that you're focusing on. And again, crates, crates. It's quite, uh, I think I found a revolver here lately and you can find the medieval sword, you can find Fidel's, um shiny helmet. And yeah, um, inside here, um, you've got like walkway so and with with military boxes so if you close this up you can use it quite nicely it's just a very very big area um, to close up but if you've got a large clan this you know this is definitely worth the work it's definitely worth the work to close up this castle and absolutely absolutely beautiful um, I love it to bits so that's the d2 castle boys Okay, I wasn't sure if I should add this point, but of course it's the safe zone. It technically falls in D2. Okay, so let's just cover it. And not a lot of people come to the safe zone. If you're wondering what that blue uh, force field is for, this is a PV, uh, PVE zone. Okay, that's why there's a little green circle. Any map that you see with these little green circles, or if the whole map's green, um, they use it for various reasons like you can't raid or you can't destroy base elements or whatever but on the standard map this is the safe zone people can't hurt each other in here but you can still people can still steal your vehicle and everything else they just can't damage you and no no one really comes here because there's nothing um really to do to do here at the moment and um, there's an mma um an mma ring which I think if you join an MMA event, they probably spawn you here, okay? And then you can beat the living uh, poop out of each other. Um, there's a club in here, okay? Um, this this isn't it. just want to slow down my movement a bit. So this is a medical bay. So what I think is they're going to use this. Um, they're going to add traders. Um, to the map maybe they I, I might add more safe zones so that you know because the people that are living here are going to trade very very easily so i think they might add it's like a, i don't know a safe zone year or maybe a safe zone year so that these people don't suffer having to go all the way up there to the traders but this is probably going to be a medical trader so but they are going to add um, traders to um to the game and then you'll be able to collect stuff and sell it like money, packets of cigarettes and stuff like this. Zelina Milia, I think this is the club. Okay, so you can come in here. Okay, you can enter the club through here. This is a door. And uh, then you go through here. You go down the stairs. And here you go.
nice and colorful. And you, yeah, you and your boys can have a party or you can just come in here and dance. So this is, of course, going to be a nice gathering place um, with alcohol and everything. So yeah, just a nice little club here, probably a nice gathering place for people. And as you know, we can dance in the game. Um, so yeah, I've got all the supporter packs, so I'm not sure what you guys can't do, but I've got all the supporter packs, so I can do everything. Um, so there's a medical bay, then there's a workshop. Okay, so this will be a workshop area and um, supply depot, um, storage. Okay, so I I feel this is where they're going to add the traders and then I, like I say, I hope they add more, more safe zones on the map so that people don't have to, that everyone doesn't have to use this point of interest. Okay, but let's move on to D to D1. Is the next point of interest. Let's just clear the weather here to see everything beautiful. Set weather to zero. Okay, let's get rid of the clouds. So yeah, this is the coal mine right there. Okay, on D1. And yeah, standard loot, nothing special about the coal mine. You'll get quite nice loot inside there. But the big thing about the coal mine, if any of you have just looted here and then ran on, the big thing, the reason why it's a coal mine is because it's a mine. Okay. So let me, um, yeah, let me just slow down here. The coal mine has got entrances in here. Okay. And I'm just going to switch on my light. So yeah, it's got a lot of passages down here. Of course, you can find coal here, but there's quite a few puppets in here as well. Um, you can't put a flag down here. So yeah, sorry about that. It's not going to be that easy. It would have been really overpowered if you could put down a flag here. But there are boxes, there are puppets, there is coal, okay, for you to loot. And um, yeah. Just a really, really cool place. Um, and if you haven't been in here, it's quite, a, it's quite a nice experience. As you can see, it's quite, quite big. I have driven in here with my vehicle. And then it just helps me to loot everything very quickly. But yeah, as you can see, it's definitely not a small place. Lots of different loot inside here. And then you come down the ladder here. And go really, 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 really deep. Really, 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 really deep. So there's lots of different levels. If you guys haven't discovered the levels, I told you, explore boys, don't be in a rush. Every time I tell you this game is a marathon, and when I say this game is awesome, I'm thinking of the future, the present, and the map, and everything that these developers have done. Any of you that are bothered by performance, they are working on that, and one day, the performance won't be a problem anymore. One day, 30 ATTIs won't be expensive anymore when better graphics cards come out. So trust me, I've had experiences with games that perform very badly in the beginning. By the time this game gets released, boys, we will all have better hardware, okay? And that won't be a problem anymore. So please look at the future, like the developers are looking at the future. And yes, Come and explore here. It's really, 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 really awesome, boys. Really, really awesome. Okay, next point of interest. I'm going to leave the best one for last, guys, because my favorite point of interest is in this... Okay, not my favorite. The funniest point of interest is in this sector. 
I wonder how many of you can guess that. Now, excuse me if I stuff up this name, boys, but this point of interest is um, like a small little castle over here, just below this town. Dovarek. Yeah, I think it's Dovarek. Kradek Mali. Okay, it's got a real, real funny name here, but it's a really, really beautiful place. Um, I really love, love the way it looks. It's one of the, um, yeah, it's one of the more, um, aesthetically pleasing places that you can come into when it comes to castles. Most of the castles are a bit broken down. Um, this one is quite nice. It hasn't got a heck of a loot, a lot of loot inside here, but personally, I've never tried to put my flag down here. So you guys can always try that because if you can put, put your flag down here, that's going to be really, really awesome. But yes, just a, just a very nice place. And, um, yeah, beautiful. It's like your own little, it's like your own little castle. Okay. Just a beautiful one instead of an ugly one. Got walls all around it. Got your own scrap metal sources. Got your own little water source here. Remember water boys? Okay. Very, 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 very nice place. So now let's get into the interesting point of interest. Okay, boys, here's one of my favorite places. I used to, um, I used to love this place because there's a bunker, um, down there. You can just see where I am on the map. There's this whole river, river here, and there's a bunker over there. And if you just look behind us, we're going to look behind us now. This is where the special point of interest is. And I think that's a little orange dot, which actually shows you it. Okay. But yeah, um, can't remember what it's called, but I think it's, the, uh, I just call it the creepy house. Okay. So if you come across this, this, um, bridge here from the, from the bunker, then you can just see where the wall starts lowering. And then you can just go to this spot where the wall gets much higher. And as soon as you get here, you'll see here on the left, um, there's a little house here on its own with a beautiful tree here. And yeah, and you'll think this is beautiful. And then you'll see this little skull here. You'll still think it's really, really pretty. You know, everything is nice and pretty over here. Just want to take a nice little screenshot over here. And then when you move inside this little door, bleh, you get a heart attack. Uh, parts lying here, this puppet's here. This puppet is literally, he can't attack you. He's just doing his own little thing here. Okay. Oh, and then he looks around at you like that, which is freaking freaky, man. Absolutely freaking freaky. And yeah, if you come here, whistle. Okay, I'm not going to tell you what happens when you whistle, but when you come here, um, whistle. Okay, and something will happen. Um, okay, and that's it. For D1, let's move over to D0. Okay, boys and girls, if you were wondering what that creepy house is called, it's called the Halloween house. Okay, they probably added it um, for a Halloween theme. And this is the military barracks. This is the only point of interest for now in D0. They are going to add, you guys can see they've added a lot of pointers of interest from Z4 to Z0. And they are gonna, they're probably gonna work their way this way, okay? Because there's a new, beautiful, big, um, beach town. There's the, um, train yard, the motorcycle track, okay? So they're probably gonna work their way up here. And they have added this military barracks, but they're gonna add a lot more points of interest. But the ones that we have now is already phenomenal. And as I'm just flying over this map, guys, I'm, I'm reminded of how much work has been put into this game and how phenomenal this game is. Not only the map, the metabolism system, the PVE elements, the players that they have for the future. It absolutely blows my mind. But in any case, this, when this military barracks came out, um, 
yeah, my clan really, really laughed at me because um, I came through here and then I wanted to run for it and I didn't respect these two megs, okay? So I literally died right here. I ran from here, tried to run to here, okay? And then I died right there. And the thing is, you will see that if I'm lying here, this Meg's looking at me. <clears throat> as soon as that Meg turns around, that Meg looks at me. Now, they did try and distract the Megs from me. So if you die in a bad place, you've got at least two friends. Let him distract that Meg that way and let your other friend distract the Meg that way. Let the Megs go after them. And then you can go and loot your body. Okay? But even this Meg might see you again. So you need... <laughs> You need a few, few clan members to not get frustrated. But yes, the military barracks um, has got nice loot. You know, there's a few. There's a little bit of loot there. Um, sorry for the speed. There's a little bit of loot here. Um, nice. So, like, yeah, this almost looks like a vehicle repair shop, but it's not a real vehicle repair shop. So you get vehicles here as well. Yeah, it is a, it is like a major vehicle repair shop here, but not in the normal way of a bunch of red toolboxes and all of that. Okay, but you might, yeah, who knows, you might find a vehicle here on a server wipe or something. And um, yeah, military points here. And then these little houses, which might not look like much, but... Um, all of these boxes gives you loot. All of these lockers gives you loot. Okay, so it's definitely worth it. You come in here, all the boxes, all the lockers, all the boxes, all the lockers. And th you know, that's qu quite nicely hidden away. So that's where I died. And, um, whoa, sorry, sorry, just want to slow down the speed here a bit. And then there's this. And I haven't been here a lot. Mm, yeah. And then there's this place. Also a bit more points. Um bit more little military loot. Um, I must say, I'm not impressed with the military loot. It is quite a big place, but I'm not... Um, I think that's why I haven't come here a lot. It's a really, really cool place, but there's a lot of megs. And, you know, if I compare the loot that I get here to the loot that I get in a C4, um, C2 bunker, you know, or one of my favorite large bunkers, it's, you know, it's, just not, it's just not worth it for me. I'm very open. There's a lot of camping spots. Um, you know, players can use this a lot to kill you. And the bunker's closed off. You wanna, if you want to kill me, you must come down a corridor or camp somewhere. And then we'll see what happens. Okay, but this is a, this is a very nice... Um, yeah, this is a very nice uh, big point of interest. In any case, boys, that's it for D0. So we've covered from D4 to D0. So this is part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. Yes, I don't want to make this video too long. Otherwise, I lose <laughs> I lose you guys because you guys are just going to start getting bored and not appreciate what I'm showing you. And I really, really, really want you to appreciate everything I show you. So this is part one where we just covered um, D4 to Z D0. And in part four, we'll cover C the C line, the you know, and then... Part 3B, Part 4A, Part 5Z. If you guys enjoyed this and you learned something, do me a favor and click the like button. And yes, if you want to see future uh, videos like this, where I just express to you how absolutely crazy I am about this game and the fact that I want to learn, teach you any, everything and I want to show you everything so that you can be as, as excited and as happy as me, then, you know, Subscribe to the channel, boys, and become part of a really, really great community. See you guys later. Cheers.